What's up guys and gals welcome back to Guiders Morn. I had to say it because I had guys, gals, guiders, and so like you, when you have alliteration you should really just take hold of it. Just grab it because it's looking at you funny and just argh, manhandle that alliteration. Let's take a look around Guiders Morn because I owe you a promise there so I think we probably should. Hey, let me go back into town. Yeah, yeah. There we go, Guider's Morn. So let's take a look. An evening at the Errant Limpet, obviously that lowers. Let's explore the Morn. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the Morn. It's vertical admittedly, but once you find the, be the beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor with an additional throat full of lurching terror. You turn and there's a long, lank brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says, I have a story for you. So you can leave and don't look back. Turn the situation around. No, I have stories for you and tell him a tale of terror and a Z story. Something about the graveyard compels your attention. His story was a wedding full of murders and a leafless forest and a vast serpent which eats souls. The tale wides on and on like the serpent until you are lost in the dizzy toes of its sinister ships and its glamorous corpses. You nod awake. He's gone, but not, it seems, before searching your pockets for small change. So we gained five terror. That's bad. We got two echo, or we lost two echoes. That's also bad. And we gained one more tale of terror. So we have two tales of terror, which are also alliterative. Lots of T's. Two tales of terror to tell. And the trio of... What is this? Pay the loitering docker for his strategic information. Or refuse to pay. You're a rough cove. Come on. This is me living in me life. And so you can't blame me for trying. I wants to get home. Sick of this place. London, eh? How's the old monster? Wait, they'll see. Here's your report. I'm off. The report is barely legible. Perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiralty will know. So we had to come here for one of the quests that the Admiralty gave us. And so if we go with gathering intelligence, our veils gives us 64 chances. 64% chance. I guess we'll try. A dislike of spies. You and one of your more villainous looking Zaylers join a dice game. Villainous looking, but you know for a fact that she tithes to charity and has a delightful singing voice. The topic turns promisingly to pillage and ambush, but your Zaylor is a little too forward with her questions. There's a scuffle and a stabbing. You escape and she does not. Lost a crew. Vales 54 failed in the challenge. We may have better luck. And so we now have a port report for Guider's Morn, so that was rough. At least we still get the thing out on the end, so it's always good if you can get your thing out. Now we have to decide if we think we can make it back to London. With the supplies that we have. I bet that we can. Let's try it. Let's make a quick run of it. I mean, we didn't make it Patrick's lot. Oh, yeah. There it is right there. And there's something off to the right as well. But we just don't have the supplies to continue exploring. And things are too expensive here to resupply. So I think what I'm going to try and do is we'll go back. I may fight one of the big crabs and just kind of see what happens. I am interested. I mean, this game has gone on long enough now to where I feel like we've gotten a reasonable amount of episodes out of it to where I can die and we can restart, and I won't feel horrendously like a failure. I mean, we've gotten about three hours out of the game without dying, which for a roguelike is pretty solid. When you die, in case you were wondering, when you die, you do get to carry over one thing. So you can bring over a crew member, you can bring over your map, or you can bring over your pages. Oh, I'm sorry, your fragments or something like that. Or no, it's one of your stats, one of your crew members... Or your charts, that's what it is. A crew member, a stat, or a chart. But it chooses the stat at random. It chooses the chart perfectly fine. That You don't have to worry about that, but it also chooses the crew member at random, so you might end up with like a terrible one. So always be aware that it may not be exactly how it seems. Will we make it into this light radius quickly enough? No, we're still going to gain terror. Disappointing. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuit. It waggles its antenna impertinently. Little bastard. We fed the crew, unfortunately. And we're just going to keep this thing going west. We should be able to make it without too many problems. We can go hunt bats if we really, really need to. And so we are plagued with dreams again. Let's see here. Listen to your dreams. What will you learn? You've gained one terror and you got one memory of distant shores. Mirror faceted pillars rise around you like trees in a forest. More so because each glows with a shifting green light. The Z lap laps at the base of your pillars. A voice from above cries out in seven languages and you understand each one. This is the face of your rim. It will be taken from us. I don't know what any of that means, but we got a memory of distant shores, I guess. Not so terrible. You want to fight a giant crab? I think I sort of want to fight a giant crab. We'll fight a little one for now. That'll make us feel better. So let's reset our hunger here. And these guys usually only take us like that right there before they go down, so I don't think we're going to have any problems. The big ones, I would assume that a giant crab would die to 
cannon fire just like anything else, but I can't guarantee it. We made it up to 64. Wow, a really good gain right there with our illumination. We'll take the two shots. Bam, he's now dead. The Auroral Megalops will be butchered for supplies, and that'll lower our hunger by 16 and save us some other supplies. Let's go ahead and stoke the furnaces one more time. Hopefully the pay is good for what we're doing right here, because honestly, we're finding ourselves a little bit low on coin. I am going to try and buy supplies and run them in between the two locations. I'm going to leave that crab for later if I can, because I don't think things respawn in this game. I think that they actually stay gone. Once you've eliminated them, I think that they are no longer a resource that you could draw upon, and so I think we may want to take it a little bit slow when it comes to fighting the enemy and annihilating them. We want to do it at our best opportunity rather than whenever the hell we feel like it. Like, perhaps kill one of these crabs on the way out from London the next time. So that we can refill our mutton box, or whatever the hell it is we keep our food in. A mutton box. That's a delightfully cockney-sounding thing. It's the mutton box, me lord. <laughs> Put in the mutton box with me turnips, me lord. Hello. And we made it to London, and actually in good supply and in good health. We really... I'm scared of that guy with the knife. Like, we really, really need to get his souls off to somewhere else before they get found in our hole, because apparently they are very, very illicit. Like, we're not allowed to have those. Let's stop at the London port. And so we walk the gangplank. That's going to lower our terror back down to 50, so that's good. We gain another nightmare strength. We collect our messages from the harbor master. And back into London. We can hire on more crew. We lost one on that last run, but that's not so bad. Let's go to the shops, and we'll take a look at how much the supplies cost. Oh, they cost 10, and they sell for 10. I thought it said they bought for... God. Like, what do you sell in this game? Like, nothing seems to sell at a profit. Like, everything in this game sells at a loss. Like, what do we do here? I mean, the best profit that you can see is that you make, like nine echoes off any run and that's not enough to really sustain yourself it's sad but true I mean there simply just isn't enough ways to make there aren't enough ways to make money I guess we'll go talk to the harbor master and if this doesn't do it for us we're totally boned so we'll turn in and we'll go with the strategic information so we get 150 echoes so maybe that's what I'm missing we need to do these strategic evaluations and so he says he's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. So we get 150 echoes. We lost one strategic information. That was all we had to barter with, so... I don't know. Turn in our port reports as well, because we have a couple of those. Guiders mourn. So we gain an admiralty's report. Or that goes away, we gain a favor. And then we gain 30 echoes. Alright. Is there anything particular you need? So, retrieve strategic information from Wither, far north of London. So, that'll probably be our next goal, considering we're more or less broke. I don't know if we can repeat the quest down to get 150 back and forth. But we need to do something. God. I guess we'll go... So we get tor torpedo tubes from a lead beater and stain rod. I don't think we're actually equipped right now to be strong enough to be fighting with enemies or anything. From its flensing attacks, we can fire with harpoons. Well, let's get the bare basics first. So we'll buy a grip of supplies a grip of fuel and then once we've got those maybe we'll make the run to withers and we'll stop along the way for any info we can grab on all the other random locations I think that's gonna be maybe our best call Yeah, I think that's all we're going to be able to do. So let's make the Withers run. And if we get ourselves into trouble along the way, we'll pick a fight and we'll do what we can. I'll try and restock by killing bats along the way if they respawn, but... 
There's just no telling. I mean, it's rough out here. It's a hard start. There's actually, there's a couple of brothers that used to make games for the Android, the Treese brothers, Corey and somebody Treese, and they used to make games like this for the Android, but theirs were all in space, and they were very difficult like this too, where getting started was definitely a challenge. I don't see any further crabs out this way. Ooh, there is a ship right there though, so maybe I'll go fight him. Let's go fight a ship. It wastes a lot of time coming about too. Rough. We'll go ahead and we'll do a little bit of the old pirate hunting down here. Yar! Around ye low barnet! Avast ye scatty! Oh, he ran us. Never mind, we got him. Let's do this thing. So we'll illuminate and then we'll open fire. They always go with seek, which I don't know why they always go with seek. Ooh, we might be able to get shots off early. We can, so let's go ahead and fire. Hopefully he doesn't, well, he's gonna start firing right after this, I think. Or he may go for full broadsides, I'm not sure. Got him. And so we can loot and scuttle her, or we can do what we did before. A matter of luck. We've got an 80% chance. Let's go for it. And so we were fortunate until the victor goes the spoils. We've only got four crew left, but that'll give us a nice little influx of cash when we make it back to London again. So we've got laughter from the four deck. That's good. I prefer laughter from the five deck or the six deck, but I'll take it from the four deck. We label our decks just in case. My sailors are always getting lost. Oh, we don't have enough crew to go full speed. That's unfortunate. I didn't realize that that was a thing. So let's go back to London now, then. And we'll get our crew back because we're understaffed, I guess. Alright. Well, it was a short trip. It was a very, very short trip. So we have to go back to London. We are tethered by the fact that we have nobody to fire our guns and run our boilers. So we gotta go get our crew back. Oh, there's another one right there, too. We could murder a whole bunch of these pricks if we wanted to. Is that a good guy, though? He's lit up. The other ones were all gray and shit. Oh, yeah. He's a bad guy, too. Alright, we'll fight him. Hopefully we get lucky with the flares again. Let's run this bitch. Oh, he's firing flares too. We're at 24, so our first flare was bad and his first flare was better than average. Oh, we are in bad shape now. Alright, we need to open fire, like right this second, because if he gets to maximum, he can fire... Oh, he's already got us. I don't know what he's doing now then. Oh, he might get us. Ow, heavy damage. Alright, well, we went broadsides with him. Sure, we'll send the rest of our crew to. We'll get devils up, awaiting our pleasure, and so we succeeded that time as well with an 80% chance. I don't see why not. We're going to be traveling really, really slowly, though, and if we get in another fight, I can't guarantee a victory. This will bring us a ton of echoes, though. We should have a big old grip of cash. I don't know if we can buy a new ship with it, but we should have enough to really keep us stocked. Oh, please don't outrun us, little guy. We've got another pirate coming in. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. Oh, God. Oh, the get him, crab. Yeah, crab slaughter. Crab combat. Ooh, I will never again slay a crab, at least until I need food, but thank you, crab. I appreciate it for blocking him just long enough to where I can make it back to port and reap in the rewards of my awesome counter piracy. Stoked about this. We're about to have so much money coming in right after I start complaining to you. These games always prove me wrong every time I start bitching. So there it is. Terror's back down. Nightmare's strength remains at two. We've got messages there. Let's go ahead and we will go to our quarters. There it is. We've got our prize money. We've got six crew and 200 echoes from the ships that we've sold. Very, very good. That puts us at 307. And so we might be able to actually haul something. I mean, I'm going to try and pay attention the next time I go to see the Firkins are still cheap. I mean, everything's just too expensive for us right now. We can't really move anything around. I would like to ply my wares and move things from port to port, but... Oh well. Let's go ahead and dry dock for a moment. Where is that? 
go to the dry dock and we'll pay off the 60 echoes to get 25 and eh, we'll do 40 nothing bad could happen from this and we're up to 69 so that'll be fine Gady. so with 69 hull remaining I'd actually really prefer to make sure that we're stocked up on both supplies and fuel for the future so let's go up to 10 and 10 Make the fox fire. I mean, I wish that I could remember if it was 43 that we could sell the fox fires for because we could make a little bit of money on our way. Is there anybody that needs passage here? No. I was hoping there would be. Well, let's undock. And by the way, we leveled up again. If you look at the meter at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we gained enough XP to get another secret. Let's go and we'll gather the information from everything. Basically, what we'll do is we'll go around here... All the way up through to Hunter's Keep to Vendor Bright. We'll gather the information there and then we'll go north as far as we can to Withers and we should be able to make the run. We should be alright. Assuming the enemy doesn't crit us like that last guy did with his. That's the problem is with his illumination, he critted us for like 40 illumination on his first go, which put us on our heels. I'm not gonna be stopping to fight pirates if I can help it. I would rather just kind of make the run that I can make. I don't think Rowena's docks actually had any port reports. They may or may not have. Let me take a look really fast because it doesn't cost us anything to be here. Give them news of home. That'll lower our terror slightly. I suppose I should have saved that for Withers just to see how much it would be, but... Eh, while I'm here, we'll launch the ship. And up to the top left, giant crab coming in at us. I'm still tempted to fight one, but I don't know if I should. I just don't know if I should. Swing back around the horn here to Hunter's Keep. I don't know if that's a spotlight right there. I think it's a spotlight. And as we come about, just barely missing that rocky edge. I still, I like to play it close. We will get a reconnoiter done, so we got a port report. The parlor is empty. Where are the sisters? The maid makes it clear through a series of unwelcoming growls that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are all three indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. Perhaps not then, I guess. Let's launch. And I think this should be a fairly short journey. We've got a bunch of cash that we're sitting on right now that allowed us to repair ourselves to a decent extent. I'm pretty happy. Let's have a look about for the tomb colonies. And I always seem to just hit these right too late in order to get my terror reset, unfortunately. Got bats coming in, which offers us a lovely little opportunity to refill our supplies. We've outrun them slightly, so let me lower the engines so that they can catch me. And once they catch us, we'll go ahead and murder them. And once we gurk them, oh, never mind. Murk them and gurk them or whatever. I don't know, Merkham and Durkham? I'm not sure. I'm just making shit up at this point. we we'll go to Bender Blight, or Vendor Blight. Apparently I'm thinking about Futurama right now. But we'll go to Vendor Bite. We will lock in right here. We'll get the info from them because that's an easy 60 or 70 points from our port reports. 100 echoes for a glass of wine. Wow. That is heavy duty. Let's go ahead and explore Vendor Bite one more time. We lost Terror, and that's all for now. I mean, one Terror, I'll fine with me. Sample today's special. It's a matter of luck with a 60% chance. At the shops, they have the Arcade of Size. And so, yeah, they're selling... Maybe I'm looking at the buy and sell wrong. I don't think that I am, though. Oh, we can sell the Foxfire Candles. Although they don't have any, which is weird. Yeah, I just don't know. We have Memory of Distant Shores, which we can sell, so I suppose I'll sell those here just so we can make a little bit of money. We have three Tomb Colonists that are on board that I totally forgot about, so I guess we'll unload those while we're here. 
go back to the tomb colony of Venderbite and gather gossip so that we can get a port report for Venderbite because apparently this is the place to be at when it comes to intrigue. And let's head north. Maybe we'll make it to Withers before the episode is over. I don't know what types of threats are going to be waiting us. It's very spindly in the water over here. It looks like the water is growing veins. The water is especially vascular, which makes me feel nervous. That bat is flying backwards in that group. That's weird. Let's set them on fire. I don't want to set them on fire. I just want to eat them. Let's illuminate a couple times. We'll see where that leaves us. And we could try and do observe. Maybe we can get something out of it. So first, illuminate went badly. Second one went better than the first. Let's observe for a few moments. They are closing the gap with us. But I think observationally, so we have four observations. We now have plus two, six. So now nine, one more, and then we'll fire a shot. And I think that'll get off before theirs does, maybe? Got him. Okay, and so we managed to get that done. Their mere touch leaves you. Once you've guarded enough, you may learn something. So let's learn. We get five fragments, and we lose our observation, and then we eat them. And we can lower our terror slightly by their mere touch leaves us shivering. How much does that help? You lose two terror? It's okay. Two terror or one supply. I think the one supply is probably the better investment. But the two terror isn't bad either. I'm going to try and stick near to the cliffs over here because there might be more stuff that I haven't explored or discovered. Because I know when we hit this point last time we cut inland and then we made a big loop and went back home. God, it's getting quite windery. Or wintery. They got little swirls on top of the mountains which remind me of ice cream and that makes me super hungry. Boreal Reach. As this snow touch it and it puffs to vapor, the men huddle close to the warmth of the pipe and funnel. Withers should be in here somewhere. I saw it on one of those maps that I found. Oh, what is that? Discovered Sensor's Arch for 50 fragments. Okay. The hell is that thing, though? It's like a giant ice blob that's heading straight for us. A Zaylor is praying. Yeah, he better. That thing's closing with us quick. We'll stay close to the buoys. Oh, that's an arch. We can go underneath it. I just made a mistake. Okay, well, what did we learn? You can go through Sensor's Arch. Discovered Codex. What's at Codex? Let's go ahead and take a look at Codex because we could always use more port reports. Well, I guess you could just call them reports if you really wanted to shorten the situation. We're not gaining terror or anything right now. We're gaining hunger. It looks like they've etched runes into the mountain. Crazy. This game's lore is fascinating. I haven't had a chance to look it all up, but... The way that the world is designed is very interesting. Codex, a desperate cave full of mute exiles, an inexplicable colony of shivering, bad-tempered monkeys. Oh, I guess we can't get anything here. Harbor Provisioners. Oh, well, I suppose we can't take a report there, but there is a Provisioner. That's weird. Let's head to Withers, since that's our goal for the episode anyways. So off we go. After this, we're going to try and make the really, really far eastward run to whatever that place was we were looking for for the guy with the knife who wanted to stab us and was making us scared. So there we are. We found Wither. We found Andergard. Cool. We're getting all kinds of fragments here. Our score is going really well. I'm sorry, not our score. Our leveling up is going really well, although I haven't really found anything that useful to trade in the secrets for yet. Let's go to the House of the Question, northwest of Wither. Actually, let's just go into Wither. Behind the great arch over the bay, the pale wastes stretch, white and silent as the face of the moon. From here, you might also imagine they were snow. North of the city, the salt pools fizz with unlikely color. And explore the town, so Wither is a quiet, chilly town of gray stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. An intriguing smell. Who will try? Who will buy? A street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. Try the grilled troglodyte prawns. Huge and pale, their eyes stare bleakly into yours, but they smell fresh. Do you have anything more robust? Or the vendor winks and we can use an unaccountably peckish in order to get something better. We can try something mysterious or shredded jellyfish. A high-risk challenge. Sure, we lost five hunger. That's all for now. We've lost two tear and we've gained one fragment. It didn't cost us anything. Chewy, but toothsome. Walk on, chewing cheerfully. 
Cool. Well, I'll take that bonus. We gain a fragment, and so, yeah, that was an all-around win for us. Lowered our hunger slightly. Gather intelligence, so let's do that. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually, you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. We've got one of Port Report Wither. What do we have down here? Your contracts riddles make little sense to you. Perhaps you can combine them with the lore you've already learnt. This will use up fragments, and so we'll lose 25 fragments, but we'll get our port report. I'm sure that'll turn off better anyways. Eventually you tease the meaning out of his words. It's like trying to convince a cat to release a ball of wool. He's cat smug, too. At least you have the information. And so we got the Admiralty Commission, which should pay out pretty nicely compared to the last one, especially considering we've... Well, I think this run was about the same as the last one, so it might pay similarly. Shore leave and wither. The folk of wither are quiet, sly, and mystical. They subsist on cave fish and dust burrowing beasts of the waste. Their beer, however, is adequate. So we can lose some terror if we wanted to pay 50 echoes, but I'm not down for that. Shops, do they have anything good here? Muter salt. They will buy at five. Okay. Stygian ivory. For supplies. So they trade supplies for Tales of Terror. Well, I don't know if that's broken, but it appears as though here you can trade supplies for Tales of Terror. Okay, well I had a couple of Tales of Terror, so I got rid of them. Yeah, it looks like when you sell, you don't actually get anything back. So I'm not sure what to say right there. I was just testing it out just to see what would happen. Stygian Ivory. I probably should have gone for that. It appears as though those are probably valuable somewhere. I probably just screwed up, but... You know, metagame being what it is. The House of the Question. Northwest of Withertown, the House of the Question stands alone. Here the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the Deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer for a price. So we can gain Stone's attention, Salt's attention. We can ask about the Drowned Man for a hundred echoes. Or we can defy the gods, spit on the floor, curse the priest, and overturn an altar. Increases your iron in hearts by five and sets your terror to zero, but you will never be able to remove any god's curse or benefit in certain other ways. Weird. So you can actually get a really big boost right there, and then also get rid of all your terror, which is quite the cost-effective solution. But it'll get you into trouble. Let's ask about the Drowned Man. We've got extra cash anyway, so... You gained three fragments. Wow, that totally wasn't worth the exchange rate. He's not a god. He came from the north, or it's too cold for gods, and to the north he will return. If you go north, nothing of you will remain. So we have a secret. What else do we need right here? Salt's attention is... I think we have the attention of Storm. We also need a Z story and then 10 echoes. And when Defiant is probably negative. So we'll come back here if we ever come across the gods in any sort of... Well, I guess if they ever become useful to us. Let's go up north. And I think actually... We'll try and uncover what we can. But I don't know what else is going to be up here. It might get risky. So we found the Odinson Straits. We need to make up for some of the fragments that we've lost. Or, I'm sorry, the money that we've lost. Actually, our fuel is looking a little bit suspect. We may want to make our way carefully back to London. Let's go back to London, then we'll end the episode. I don't think there's actually anything up here in the north that we should be concerned about. Looks pretty empty. I mean, they've managed to put up buoys just in case you wanted to lower your terror. But I think a run back to London is probably our best call. So let's go back to London, and then that should keep us for the remainder of the episode. Thus far, I'm pretty... I know I sometimes treat these like extended reviews, but I'm pretty pleased with the game so far. I found that this game is remarkably attractive, and it's fun to play. I don't know if it's fun to watch, but it's a really fun game to putter around in. It, it Sincerely, it reminds me of playing Sid Meier's Pirates. And I've been waiting for a modern retelling of Sid Meier's Pirates for years. And so now that I've kind of found a spiritual successor in this game... I think that it's really one of those incredibly satisfying titles. Oh, let's go hard to starboard here. Oh, super hard to starboard. I don't know if we can outrun them, but we're going to try. It looks like bleeding glaciers or something. I don't know if that's... I don't know, maybe they poo red and that's like the butt, but I don't know. 
It looks like it's bleeding. It does not look friendly. Zaylers at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says his voice a tremble. Let's catch it. A 37% chance with irons. Let's. I'm going to call them to look away. They lose terror. And we're not going to risk on a 31%. I need at least a 50-50 before I'll ever gamble on anything. 37% is pretty high if you're at the casino, but if you're anywhere else, that's losing strategies right there. Maybe we'll try and knock over another ship on the way back into London, too, to maximize our profits. It appears as though those little pirate ships respawn, and so if we can kill a whole bunch of them, we can make a ton of cash just over and over farming those things. And in fact, I may do it in between episodes. I feel like I'm on a bit of a time limit with this game, though, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's always... I'm kind of one of those wait-and-see type of people. Just kind of wait it out and see what occurs rather than taking any real decisive action and it backfires on me sometimes absolutely it backfires on me but for now I think I'd rather keep it where it is fuels looking low so I think we are making the right choice right now let's go ahead and though we've got enough fuel to where I think I sh it would probably benefit me to scan this area over here for anything that we missed along the way for extra fragments and extra secrets I mean chartography is a fun thing to practice I do make a lot of maps as a geologist that's what we do if you ever wanted to be a geologist, that's pretty much what we do. We make maps all day, every day. We draw them by hand, using compasses and everything else. Prick finger wastes. Huh. Kind of some cool stuff out here. Oh yeah, there it is. I wish that you could disembark and explore some of these locations with your crew. Kind of like in... I'm trying to think about... God, what game was that? There was a game where you could go and you could dally about with your crew and you could get into trouble. It was a pirate game and you could explore various areas and as you were ashore you could actually lose crew members that way. But there was also treasure and like little things you could uncover and random events you could have fun with. I may have even LP'd it but I'm having trouble remembering now. Let's go ahead and pull into port and this will be the last little bit of our episode. The wolf stack docks await us. That'll allow us to get our yeah, allow us to get our fear down by quite some ways. We fed the crew on the way into the docks, which seems like a little bit of a waste, but oh well. So our terror goes down. We gain two more nightmare strength, so that's good. I don't know if those are ever going to be useful for anything, but messages from the harbor master. Nothing much. Let's go ahead and talk to the harbor master first, the admiral. We'll turn in our strategic information, and so he's stoked about that, and he gives us 150 echoes. I think that's probably going to be the going rate from now on. We'll also turn in all of our port reports. We've got Hunter's Keep, so there's five echoes. We... Vendor Bite, we get 30 for there, or no, 10 for Vendor Bite, okay. I don't think we actually succeeded at that. This is my colleague, Mr. Villain of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villain, this is Captain... This is this good captain's report is here. If you would care to, yes, the fire is already lit. Let us, then we go. Now only ashes remain, and it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here's your payment. You will not need to trouble yourself any further in this affair. I don't know if that's broken. I don't remember taking a, a report there, but whatever. Admiralty's favor's up to nine. We've got 100 echoes. Making a little bit of cash. I refuse to ask any questions. I don't want to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> and so it's been confirmed. We get 20 echoes for that. Abbey Rock. Obviously not going to get paid very much, but we'll get 20 echoes. We've got 10. Is there anything else that they need? Oh yeah, we can take another mission. And so they want strategic information from Avid Horizon northeast of London. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? We could always make a little bit of extra cash. That said, let's look for whatever that was. There was an interesting... They had like... Yeah, those aren't going to sell well anywhere. I don't know. I feel like the goods that we have... Muter salt appears to be very, very valuable here, although... The place that we saw it, they didn't have any to sell. They only had... Maybe the trading system isn't in-game yet. Maybe that's why it's kind of imbalanced right now. Because all the places that we've gone that have had muter salt and things like that have not had any to sell. They've only had it to 
I'm sorry, they've only had it to sell, not to buy. Because that right there would be a really, really amazing... That would be a pecuniary advantage right there if we could go buy Muter Salt up at... I think I saw that Muter Salt was buying for five up at... Vetterblight or Vendorbite or whatever. And if it sells for 50 here, that would be a massive profit. If you could just get a hold full of the stuff and unload it here, you could be rich by evening. So I don't know. We've scouted just about everything. We're doing pretty well. We have recurring nightmares. Stone, storm. Oh, we're being watched by stone, storm, and salt. Interesting. All right, well, this is as good a spot as any to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Sunless Sea. We've still got jobs to do, so we're going to fly on out and see if we can get those done in the next episode. Take care of everybody, and hi-do as always.